Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Token Post interview. Today I have invited one of the keynote speakers of our blockchain open forum, Dr. Sergei Kamalov, the representative of Russian MGIMO University. Or did I pronounce that right? Absolutely right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello. I heard they're the number two like top ranking university in Russia. Is that correct? No, I think we're number one. <laughs> <laughs> so could you give a brief introduction about yourself? Um, I uh, graduated from Gimo University back in 1995, uh, made my PhD in 1998. Then I spent uh, some time in banking industry. Uh, from 2003, uh, I was engaged in the public management. So I was uh, holding different executive positions in municipal, regional, and federal level in the Russian government. And uh, three years ago, I uh, came back to the universities, to my alma mater, mm -hmm. to lead the Department of Public Governance. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're preparing the uh, uh, leaders of the future, uh, the, the future Russian political elite. And to my strong belief, we should concentrate on the competences and on the skills that our leaders should have in 10, 15, or 20 years. Mm. So. Today you're, has, you're here as the representative of Smart City in Russia project. So what does this project mainly aim to achieve? Uh, so we provide the consulting and science support and legal support uh, for the project Smart uh, City Management Platform, which is done by my dear friend uh, Konstantin Sinigovsky, who spent over 25 uh, years in, uh, in development. It is a, uh, a solution that allows to integrate and create the ecosystem in development from the idea of what to build depending on the customer's uh, preferences mm -hmm. uh, till the end uh, of uh, construction phase and putting into operation the residential and commercial premises and um, uh, it, it will include the management uh, of the facilities as well. So once the project, you know, gets public, I mean, once it finishes, how will the city look like? You see, uh, when I first came in Songdo last year, <laughs> uh, and Songdo is, uh, is the case that I teach uh, my student, uh, students about uh, mm -hmm. as, as the case of uh, unique smart city that was built from scratch. Mm -hmm. And I was flying to, uh, to Incheon Airport mm -hmm. and I was driving to the city, I was expecting to, uh, to see the robots walking on the streets, mm -hmm. uh, all the flying objects uh, yes, around. Yes. And, but you find yourself in, a, in an absolutely normal environment, a friendly people on the mm -hmm. streets and the, uh, it's functioning as, as a normal uh, habitat. I think uh, so it means that the soul is preserved, mm -hmm. uh, the, the human remains in the epicenter of the, of the whole concept, mm -hmm. the technologies help people to live a better life. The same thing uh, is, is uh, uh, sought to be uh, implemented and in, in realized in, in this residential construction. So it will be a normal, but very comfortable uh, piece of land to live. Uh, in Russia. Yes, in the, in the heart of Moscow, we're talking about 1.5 uh, million square meters of residential and commercial properties united uh, with this with one single uh, SCMP uh, uh, solution. Is the government open to replacing its real estate real estate system uh, with blockchain? There is a, a very uh, intense discussion on different levels of uh, federal, regional, and municipal governance. Mm -hmm. uh, the government invites uh, the practitioners, startup companies, innovators, and uh, academics to, to discuss different sides of the story. We, we have to understand all, all the pluses, but we have to discuss the risks as well, because what we, what we see in digital era, that's when you implement a lot of technologies people became detached from each other yes when you see the audience in the cafe everybody's in their smartphones Nowadays, but they don't talk mm -hmm. uh, or you see a child who comes to a, a window and makes this 
movement, <laughs> trying to make the uh, visual closer. Yes, yes. All these signs are quite uh, uh, serious, I think, uh, to, uh, and they, they should be considered. So uh, in Russia, the, 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 a tremendous work is being done right now. And uh, when I was addressing to the uh, respectable uh, audience today, um, I made this point that uh, it is very important that the government representatives participate in this kind of uh, discussion platforms as uh, blockchain open forum. Very so important. you believe that the technologies that are coming to our generations nowadays, it should not harm the humanitarian aspect of our life? You believe that there should be an integrated middle ground? Absolutely right. Uh, citizens should be in the focus. The technologies are not the goal. Mm -hmm. These are the means for the better life. Mm -hmm. And to keep this balance, uh, there should be a say uh, of a, a community. Uh, right now, there is a panel, uh, the, the blockchain in, and social life, mm -hmm. the social impact of blockchain, which is e extremely important. Mm -hmm. uh, and the government should look at all what is going on from this angle as well. However, when it comes to real estate, ownership issues, taxes, property-wise, it's a big problem because blockchain, as you might know, has no borders. And to that, what do you believe is the ideal direction on when it comes to regulations related to real estate? I think in, uh, it'll be inevitable uh, when all these entrepreneurship movements will invite, uh, extensively in invite uh, for the dialogue the governments in all the countries. because. Uh, the national governments should make their moves uh, to get to start this dialogue how it will be managed this borderless solution mm -hmm. uh, because the, the, it's a contradiction of the interests of preserving the national security and uh, still not interfering in the normal course of business mm -hmm. it's a dilemma mm -hmm. and uh, governments should think about that we should not avoid this dialogue mm -hmm. uh, and as as more uh, as many times we can discuss it mm -hmm. a, a better solutions will be uh, found and achieved in nowadays real estate related platforms one key theme one big the o factor is fractional ownership what is your take on fractional ownership in a token economy based on that my personal opinion um, I think there is, um, 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 let's say, well, I'll take it with a pinch of salt in terms of uh, previous generation, our fathers, uh, our grandfathers, they were attached to a, a particular piece of land, to a particular house. And I think it is extremely important for each citizen, for each human being mm -hmm. to have this attachment. Mm -hmm. and. I don't think that the entrepreneurs who aggressively promote this shared or sharing economy, mm -hmm. they, they, they don't tell the, the whole story, this social uh, component of this story, that a, a, a citizen, an individual should have a, a complete uh, attachment to, to something, a house or a, an apartment, mm -hmm. and something should not be shared in our lives. Mm -hmm. uh, values cannot be shared mm -hmm. and to have something your personal space cannot be shared an apartment and a house is a part of your personal space so that's where as well I see uh, um, a space for discussion so that's why you seem to put weight on the social impact aspect of blockchain is it absolutely right yes. mm -hmm. so in respect in the promotion or the expansion of the whole blockchain economy do you believe that actually uh, applicable platforms such as uh, payment systems, uh, real estate, maybe shared economy system, compared to that and social impact like positive wise community building uh, platforms, which part do you think should be prioritized? Well, why do we limit <laughs> ourselves? Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's help to develop both sides. Yes, uh, of course. <laughs> However, one criticism I uh, received was that there hasn't been a working model of real estate platforms when it comes to blockchain and token economy. 
So do you believe that real estate, the in its nature of its form as an asset, does that contribute to such failure in establishing a working model of platform? Well, I think it's um, a matter of uh, months, maybe really? a year or two, and we'll have a decent uh, solutions that work in this or that particular country. It's just a matter of time. Uh, and real estate, by uh, as an industry, provide, provides a, a very comfortable environment for creation of such applications because we're talking about tangible assets mm -hmm. that underline and create a, a tangible value behind the tokens, or cr other uh, cryptocurrencies, uh, mm -hmm. uh, and, and blockchain. So it, it's a very comfortable case uh, mm -hmm. to see how these technologies will work. So I, I expect uh, to have uh, a lot of uh, models put in practice in, the, in a few months already. So in a few years, you believe that when I travel to Moscow, I'll be able to rent a place using my ether? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you are participating at the Blockchain Open Forum 2018. So do you believe that this kind of an event in Korea, blockchain community related events, blockchain community itself, do you think they're headed the right way? Absolutely, yes. And I encourage you to, to continue uh, to, to, to uh, maintain this dialogue, uh, to, to look uh, probably more at a younger generation, to invite more student uh, exchange. And because students uh, today, they're brilliant. They, they, uh, they do a lot of startups. They have plenty of ideas. And I believe uh, Korean and Russian students, if you place them in the same place, uh, put them in the same place, they will create you in a... Uh, in a few hours, uh, many solutions that will work immediately and uh, mm -hmm. we will enjoy it. So, uh, because uh, they are our future um, and uh, that's, that's how we can uh, uh, make uh, this more valuable, this dialogue. But what you're doing is tremendous work and I uh, really appreciate that. So if we send an invitation to you about Blockchain Open Forum 2019, will you be willing to participate? Oh yes, with pleasure, and I'll bring <laughs> as many people as I can uh, from Moscow. Was well, me. finishing up our interview, do you have any last comments that you would like to give to our Korean audience? Just uh, stay the way you are. You have great smiles. You're very kind of, of people, and uh, this is the second time in Korea, and uh, uh, today I'll be leaving your beautiful country with a strong belief and desire to come back many, many times more. Thank you very much. Thank you for your kind thoughts. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in. That was Dr. Sergei Kamalov. Thanks for watching.